Welcome, Collectors. Thank you for joining me for another brand new episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing another brand new addition to the 2020 lineup of the Diecast Masters 164 scale play and collect series. This version is the 164 scale Cat 950M wheel loader with log fork, general purpose bucket, and simulated logs. While yes, it's true that Diecast Masters has released a 164 scale 950M in the past, this version features a quick coupler, which not only has the general purpose bucket, which we've seen before, but this new version has the log fork and also two simulated 164 scale logs that you can use to pose with the model. All right, let's take a look at the packaging. As with all the Play and Collect series models, it comes in this very visible and very attractive to all ages, clear window style packaging, so you can very easily tell and identify what model is in the box. Now these Play and Collect series models come in large assortments, so you're likely to see more than one of these on the shelf of various different types of models. That's the whole idea behind these Play and Collect series line of products. You can see that they're recommended at the bottom right for ages 8 and up, but of course, not only are these catered towards the younger members in our community, but all the way up to adult collectors. Item number 85635 for this version. On the right side tab, we have Cat. And on the left side tab, the Die Cast Masters and Real Replicas logo. On the back of the box, we can see a few pictures of the model itself, demonstrating a couple of the different features via the various different attachments and the couple 164 scale logs that are included. Some highlight texturing, reads made of die cast metal, highly detailed moving parts, authentic cat trade dress, and paint color. All right, let's properly begin the unboxing. As with most of these play and collect 164 scale models, the first time that you take them out of the package, you will have to navigate a plethora of twisty ties, but once you get them all undone, you are able to display your model. Now also included in the box are your two logs and your general purpose bucket. Last thing out of the packaging is this instructional sheet, which I will show you very briefly. And this just shows you how to switch out the attachments. Now by measure of full, dis, uh, by, by full transparency here, and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. In my opinion, the design of the quick coupler or how to change and detach the tools here could be improved significantly because the mechanism, as I will show you in person, is all plastic. And in the hands of younger collectors in particular, I can see this being a big problem because it is extremely easy to snap and break the plastic connection pieces here. So again, I will show you that uh, up close so you guys know what you're getting before you get it so that you pay extra attention when you want to change out these attachments so that you don't break anything. All right, when we come back, we'll begin the model review. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this short break. All right, everyone, thank you so much for sticking with me. Let's begin with the details and decal application on this 164 scale model. Now, you may have seen my review already on the Cat 950M standard 164 scale version of this, so a lot of this will be review for you guys. But for those that are new, bear with me. We're going to start as if you've never seen this model before. So you have the Cat 950M, your grill details are done with decals that are very sharp and give the impression that it is see through mesh. On the sides of the wheels, you have bolt detailing, which look pretty outstanding. Your hand and grab rails and your protection railing on the side, it's all plastic, but it is thin to scale and looks great. Your access stairs appear to be a bit fat, but they get the job done just fine. At the rear of the machine, you have a cat logo here at the top portion of your grill, a simulated small tow bar. More lights done by paint application. In the back, you have some silver lights as well. Your exhaust stack on the top portion of your engine does have a small hole in the back of it to give it some depth. This side of the loader, much of the same. Again, impressive detailing inside of the wheels. Moving towards the front of the wheel loader, we see more forward-facing lights, a cat logo right here on the top center portion of the windshield. 
There is a windshield wiper that is part of the casting, and it is a little bit difficult to see, but it is there and looks pretty impressive in this scale. Also impressive, and it's almost impossible to pick up on camera, but if you look closely, there is a cat logo on the center of the seat back inside the operator's cab. Additional forward-facing lights and the impressive log fork attachment at the front. Now, this is what I want you guys to pay really close attention to and look very closely at. So, it's a three-point connection on the connection point for the attachments on this model. Now, the attachment log fork here is a entirely plastic piece. It is not metal, as are the attachment here, here, and here. The directions tell you to pop off this portion first and then the bottom two portions um, secondary. And you want to be extremely careful because the arms are metal and they're adding weight to it, therefore adding resistance. And this piece as well, again, is plastic. So you want to be very careful when you're removing this and you want to take your time. It's probably to do it right and to not break anything. It's probably going to take you a few minutes to swap out attachments instead of, for example, on the excavator where it's pretty instantaneous. Again, take your time and do it right. And if you're planning on giving this as a gift to a youngster, you need to explain that to him so you don't end up with a very disappointed young child with a broken model. Looking underneath the wheel loader, you can see the axle detail as well as the tread pattern on the wheels. And that brings us to the functionality. The steering across the articulation joint is acceptable for a model in this scale, although there are no hydraulic lines. The loading arm functionality is also acceptable in this scale with a slight degree of tilt, although it does not want to hold. However, your curl back angle is much better. Again, here is your tilt forward, but at extreme angles like this, it wants to snap back. Your log forks will open to an acceptable degree. Do not force it back past this angle. It will close to here. All right. Let's take a short break here because as I just described to you, I would like to take my time when I switch these attachments out and I'm going to do it off camera. So when I come back, we'll show you the bucket functionality that is on this loader and then we will conclude the video. All right, so this is the wheel loader with the general purpose black bucket on it. Pretty much the same functionality as you saw before. Again, limited curl forward, acceptable curl back. If you were posing this with the newly released 745 articulated dump truck by Diecast Masters, the two make a very good pair together, as you can see. Perhaps another area for improvement that I would personally like to see is the dumping angle, which only extends to here. All right, before we conclude the video, I want to show you the 950M loading the uh, simulated log forks. So we're going to take a quick break and come back and conclude the video. All right, everyone, we've got the log forks back on. These are the two simulated logs right here, which as you can see, actually have some wood finishing on them, which looks pretty cool. So let's put our log fork down, pick up our logs just like that. And since they're so small, Let's put them in that same articulated dump truck that you saw just a moment ago. And there you have it. So overall, the Diecast Masters Cat 950M wheel loader with the log forks and the general purpose bucket. Again, all these play and collect models retail between $30 and $33, so it's good value for the money. I cannot emphasize enough, this is at least the third or fourth time I've mentioned this in this video. Although it is good value for the money, please take your time and pay particular attention when you are changing out the implements. Uh, it's a good average size 164 scale loader and it will look great with your other CAT equipment in 164 scale. Thank you all so much for watching. If you take a look at your screen right now, you will find another suggested link for another Diecast Masters 164 scale review. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next review.